Um, I think it's very easy to assume that we're indestructible. My family and I were traveling some back roads in rural South Georgia where we lived and unfortunately another vehicle struck the vehicle that we were in. My mother was killed upon impact. My father was severely injured and I was severely injured because of the severe blood loss, uh, primarily from my left arm being cut to such an extent that they were considering amputating it. I received a blood transfusion to save my life and to save my arm as well. The last thing you're thinking is that on a sunny Sunday afternoon, your whole life is going to change dramatically and forever. You may need a blood transfusion or some sort of life-saving um, operation or procedure. And in my case, because my injuries were so severe due to the blood loss, other um, issues, I needed a blood transfusion and thankfully I received one. Hey guys, my name is Rudy Flores. I'm at the South Texas Blood and Tissue Donor Pavilion. We have seven sites, and if you come down to donate, it takes about an hour. If you do it on our donor dock, you can do it a little faster. You can even do it at home. You can do it on your cell phone, or you can do it on the computer the day of your donation. Then you're gonna come in and get screened and do a wellness check. We're gonna make sure all those questions that you answered are done and complete, and that they're eligible for you to come through and donate. And then come on down and we'll get you going. I'm Laura. I donate blood regularly because I know the importance of blood donation after I was in a car accident. My donation today will help people with severe anemia, cancer, kidney disease, and will go on to save three lives. My name is Julian Salcido, the component supervisor Thank you for stopping in our lab. Today we're gonna to demonstrate the different types of actual blood products that we make from your donation. One of those blood products is our FRBC, which is a filtered red blood cell. Our second product is a fresh frozen plasma. Our third product is a recovered plasma. In addition to these donations, we also receive convalescent plasma, which is our CCC plasma. We have different platforms in which we manufacture these types of products. One of our platform is our plasma specialist platform in which we have high volume of recovered plasma. Red blood cells carry oxygen through the body for patients with anemia or major blood loss. Platelets are cells that help stop bleeding after trauma or surgery. And plasma is a liquid that carries cells through the bloodstream and is used for shock and trauma patients. Uh, my name is Scott Jones. I'm Vice President of Scientific Affairs here at BioBridge Global. And we are standing right now in the production testing laboratory here at uh, Qualtech's laboratories. So samples arrive, we check the samples, make sure they're okay. And then we put them on our track system here. They go through, they get uh, spun real fast, they get uh, decapped, and then they go for infectious disease testing where we test for different uh, infectious disease such as HIV, hepatitis C virus, Zika virus, um, and West Nile virus. And then once we are done with that testing, we also perform additional testing such as determining the blood type and other sort of chemistry testing. And once all testing is done, it goes into our computer system. So for whole blood, we receive the samples during the day and late evening and we get the testing done in 10 to 12 hours. Hi, I'm Belinda Flores and welcome to Hospital Services. Here in Hospital Services is where we receive orders daily, 24 hours a day, seven days a week from all the hospitals that we service. What's important to note is daily we are having conversations with hospitals to discuss what their inventory is, what they've ordered, and what we're able to fill for their transfusions. The South Texas Blood and Tissue Center services over 100 hospitals in 48 counties. My name is Erica Rovalcaba. I work for Hospital Services. After 24 hours of your donation, it comes down to be stored. And then after all that is processed, we wait for hospitals to put their orders in and we get ready to shift out when orders come in to get fulfilled. 
Red blood cells last 42 days, platelets last five days, and frozen plasma lasts one year. Blood is packed in temperature controlled containers for transport. After some checks, the blood is ready to be transfused.